The worst part, putting the dash and the whole interior back in the car. The Welcome back to another video, guys. I appreciate you clicking on today's video. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, I myself am having a, a little bit of a stressful one. You guys have been up to date on the channel. You know that we've been trying to get Stangry ready for Texas 2K, and there's a lot of stuff that goes into that. The car has been getting a cage. We had a new transmission delivered, a TH400, so we need to put in the cage. We need to put in the TH400. We need to retune the car, and that's all needing to be done in the next four days. Right now I'm on my way to Jay's Velocity Motorsports, about three hours from my house. I was supposed to be in Texas for my birthday. However, there's so much that needs to get done and I guess it didn't really sit right with me to be in Texas having fun on my birthday while Jay is sitting there busting ass getting all the cars done because he needs to get his car done, Wayne's car done, and my car done and there is so much stuff that needs to get finished. The cage was finished yesterday and picked up from Wayne and brought back to Jay. However, the entire dash needs to get put back in. The entire interior needs to get put back in. I have a Kirky on the way. Uh, the new TH400 that you guys saw needs to get put in. There is, there's just so much stuff, not to mention all the tuning that needs to get redone to dial this car in and we have four days to do it. If you've been here, you know I'm not very mechanically inclined. However, I'm gonna go there at least for moral support and do uh, all of the bitch work that I guess I can to get out of Jay's way. And uh, hopefully by the end of this, all of the cars are done, ready to go, and uh, we can go to Texas 2K slightly more stress-free. Obviously, there's gonna be a little bit. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to remind you guys that at 100,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a Hellhorse Twin Turbo Kit for an S550 Mustang, so 2015 through 2023. You guys are gonna customize the kit, and I'm gonna pay for it. You guys sit back, relax, while I do not sit back and relax, and uh, we'll get into today's video. All right, boys, made it to Velocity Motorsports. Stangry's up in the air, and uh, Obviously no transmission. Jay's words were about to, what was that? Beat the hell out of the bottom of it? Yeah. All right, we're gonna beat the hell out of the bottom of it. And then uh, all of that stuff over there, is gonna go in there. And then it's gonna work. Stangry's butthole. All right. Wait, what if I don't want to do the TH400? I mean, Can we go back? The 6R80 will still fit. Okay. Alright, All right. I think you got it. Am I good? Uh, probably. Well, here she is. Is this going to make us go sevens? <laughs> it better. <laughs> I'm saying. 12 grand. Well, all of it together, but. It should hold 2,000 horsepower, which means we need more motor. Dude, I got one for sale. Uh, I don't have a credit card for it, unfortunately. All right, we've got trans set up right there. We have the Circle D converter right here, the bolt together converter. You, again, you guys all saw this stuff get unboxed. Found it. What is this? This is boost guard, dude. Transmission fluid. Oh yeah, we need that. It's actually really, is it always gonna stay this shiny or does that go away? You have like oh, 50 miles on it. All right, the TH400 is uh, pretty much in. Converter is in. Drive shaft is coming tomorrow. What's next, trans cooler? Yeah, I already started on the next one. There you go, so trans cooler up next. So here's the trans cooler went with. This is a derail hyper cool extreme remote cooler. Oh dang, that's kind of thick. It's kind of thick. Oh, she's kind of thick. Oh, she's kind of thick. <sighs> okay. It's exactly what the picture looked like. We could have just looked at the picture. Okay, so TH400 is in, the converter is in, and it is torqued down to spec. Move back to the trans cooler. The trans cooler is mounted. 
Jay just needs to wire everything up and then that should be set. And then I believe we are uh, moving on to the interior, which is gonna be a nightmare. I believe it or not, I think we're actually making good timing. Um, this is actually, believe it or not, also exactly how I would wanna spend my birthday. So happy birthday to me. Uh, being able to do this is super cool. So I'm happy. Well, the headers are out. You get a nice good view of the uh, Frankenstein ported heads. Head? 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 All right, now the S650 needs to go in the air. We need to take the turbos off of this because they are, for some reason, bigger than the turbos that were on this car. And this one now needs more turbo. So we are throwing the 6568s off of that onto this and the 6365s off of that onto this. Now, why this car has bigger turbos, I actually have no clue. But I guess it's going to get the older turbos and the older car. Oh, my gosh. And the older car is going to get the newer turbos. It's going to be fun to take this full exhaust off. So here is the turbos that are going on to the S650. They're coming from the black car over there. These are the 63, 65s, the smaller ones. And then the bigger ones are coming off of there. As far as the power difference, the smaller ones should hold about 1300 to the tire. And the bigger ones are going to hold closer to 1600 horsepower, again, to the tire. So pretty big difference. So obviously with the big power, we're going to make the change because Again, this is just a daily driver, does not need to make crazy power. As far as the drivability difference, it's really not gonna be that much as far as normal driving, but when you get on it, there's gonna be a little difference in how quick the power comes in. So with the smaller turbos, the power comes in quicker. With the bigger turbos, the power comes in later. However, it comes in harder. So I guess you just get to pick your poison with a manual car. I usually like to have the top end a little harder, but when it comes to the drag car, I really need that car to be my best performer. I'm not huge in concern how the daily driver is gonna drive in a straight line and how fast, I'm more concerned with the drag car. So we're gonna throw the bigger turbos on there. And if I get super concerned one day with the daily driver, we'll throw bigger turbos on that. As far as this car, the necessary steps to move forward is gonna be obviously the interior, the shifter, and then just the front and back glass. There's also a good bit of wiring that needs to get done, but Jay is the master at that, so that's no worry. It's a boy. So here is a little size comparison between the two. Obviously, size this is from the- matter. Size matters sometimes. So the S650 is a little bit bigger. These are 65, 68s, and then we have these smaller ones. These are what's going back on the S650. So maybe we'll get a little more torque out of her. Okay, so we have the turbos off the S650 right here. Stangery is back up in the air. Should be a little bit easier because there is not a full exhaust. And uh, hopefully this one just bolts up, easy to go. And then uh, Jay hops on my left. We're gonna go ahead and change the wastegate springs as well. There was nine pound springs in here. We're gonna switch it up because it's basically the lowest amount of boost you can run and nine pounds off the line is, you know, sometimes not so fun. So we're gonna put in a five pound spring so we get a little more control. All right, the part that we have been avoiding the entire time, the worst part, putting the dash and the whole interior back in the car. The trans is in, the trans cooler is in. Everything is in and connected aside from the drive shaft that should be arriving tomorrow. So it's time to do the worst part of it all and that is put the dash back in the car. This will be fun. After about uh, 45 minutes or so, we got the passenger side to click in and are very close on the driver's side. We may not even have to go into the actual dash. So Blaine, the guy that did this cage night shift performance did a fantastic job. Wayne's, I don't know if I showed you guys, I think I did last video. His is so butchered. He does not have any of these vents over on this side just because his cage was done so low. So huge shout out to Blaine because he rocked this. All right, it's been a little bit. Dash, back in, kind of. Obviously need to plug all the accessories back in. Here's how much was cut. Didn't have to get into the dash at all, just kind of this little trim piece, but you can't even really see it. So I guess before there's a windshield, you can see Master J with the Dremel. Went crazy. I learned it from this guy with a green Mustang. Learned everything I knew from him. How look how tight she is. We cut that part out, but 
Look how tight the cage is. It's definitely what you said the first time. All right, this is where we're going to wrap it up for the night. Uh, I say night, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. But the dash is in. Here's our fitment. I don't know if I've already showed it. We're sleep deprived. We've got a lot of the interior, kind of, back in. Still need to get some vents, uh, but the radio, my CD player, steering wheel. Still need to do carpet and, you know, some stuff there. I think the drive shaft is going to show up tomorrow. I think the Kirky is going to show up tomorrow. I think the Kirky cover is going to show up tomorrow. Um, and I think that's it. We got a lot accomplished today. The headers, the turbos, the transmission, the trans cooler, the dash. And now we just need a little bit of sleep. It's the next morning, boys. We got a little bit of sleep after a long day. The carpet is in. The dash is pretty much in and another thing that's in is the kirky as i mentioned we're doing a nice black and red very original color scheme there but we got an 18 and a half inch kirky uh we're just waiting on the drive shaft now and the fire suit hopefully that'll be there today but uh i don't know if they're going to deliver packages twice all right so jay's up there doing some wiring Chaz is working on putting the temp sensor in the th400 so he's got to do a little tap right here into the trans pan uh then i think it's just brakes brakes shifter and waiting for the drive shaft still unfortunately so i left to go get some parts they went ahead and got started on the brakes as you can see we're switching to the bare brakes and you can see the massive difference between the stock ones uh, when you have a 100 pound hood, I tried to get rid of it, but I couldn't. When you have a 100 pound hood, you gotta get your weight savings where you can. So uh, we're gonna lose about 50 to 100 pounds. Of course, I get to drive all the way back to Orlando tonight because for Texas 2K, you have to have a registered car. My birthday was yesterday and I didn't have the car in hand. So I had to get a piece of paper signed by an officer coming here, confirming the VIN that it's not stolen. So I have to drive three hours home tonight, wake up tomorrow, go to the DMV and then drive back here again. Awesome. All right, boys, I made it back. Uh, unfortunately, they still did not give me the registration, so I drove six hours round trip for nothing. But the glass is getting put back in, and then uh, we just got to swap the diff and put the seat in, and I think we're good to start tuning. Yeah, that is a lot easier than pulling it out. Next, we got the front glass. Got to make sure there's no last touches because it'll be a little harder to get to. Finally looks like a car again. Alright, well she's back in her glory. They said give it an hour or so to uh, seal. So I don't plan on driving. We just had to get it done before the rain. But dude, this... Once the interior trim pieces are in, the new diff is in, we should be good to start tuning this thing. Tomorrow, this needs to go down the track, so hopefully we can get all that stuff done. Okay, so this is the diff that is going in. It is a 355, we're switching from a 315. I'm just about to drain the fluid out of it and put some, what is it, 75W1. All right, good news and bad news, and by that I just mean double bad news. Every single diff bushing, except for one, is broken. That really blows. All right, we got lost in time, but uh, we dropped the whole rear end. All the diff bushings were bad, so I had to spend $200 on more diff bushings, and uh, now it's all going back together. All right, rear end's been put back together. Kind of on crunch time a little bit. All right, boys, it's about to get real. Need to put some trans fluid into the trans, get the base tune in the car, get a little base tune log. Oh, wait, we don't even have a seat. All right, we have got one gallon of trans fluid in there. We are about to load up the base tune from Lund, get a little start up, and I guess start the tuning process. <laughs> yeah, dude, let's hear it start. Round two. That does 
not sound like it's supposed to. Round three. Oh yeah, no drum. Is it gonna work okay. this time? Yes. Ready? Born ready. Yeah. guys hanging but I just realized there is so much footage in this video so I'm gonna have to cut it off here and then we're gonna finish the tuning process go to the track in the next video run it and then video after that we should be in Texas 2k so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you like no can you take it out of uh, park for a second put it in neutral Make sure you like, comment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one with a seat and a tune going down the drag strip. Hopefully.